everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Animal Inspector. I found this game on Itch.io because it looked adorable, but it seemed to have rather sinister implications, such as this newspaper article. Too many animals! Government declares animal crisis. Can I read the comics? Oh shit. Gun Fancy, the last buck meets its hunter. Oh jeez. Hunting in a world without wild animals. Oh jeez. Oh, secret murder agency? Please don't kill me! Oh god, the president wants your pets! They came for my cat! Oh, snout and soul. First impressions. Oh, wow, the cat that dodged inspection. Okay! Oh, hi. Oh, holy shit. How are you? Hi, pup! Hello, doggo! My perfect boy! How are you doing? What do I- what am I supposed- My truest friend. I agree! Doggos are the best. Noble and fierce. Yeah! You'll be inspected soon. Oh god. That doesn't sound good. But I won't wait for that. They're hiring agents. I've already applied. You're a good dog. I won't let them take you. Good! Okay! Great! I'm gonna save the animals! I'm gonna save all the doggos! Yeah! Yeah! I'm Animal Inspector 0315. Bring it on. Oh, hello there! My name is Martha. It is wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just starting out here as well? Yeah! Drag a fish toy into my mouth. Oh my god! The text thing is a giant cat! Oh god! Oh, how exciting! Well, I am very much looking forward to this. It will be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you see that young man over there? No! Oh, now I do! Hello! I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude. So I'm glad that you're here. Oh, but enough of this. I'm very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you in any case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hey. You all are the new employees? Okay, well, I'm in charge here. Um, listen up. This job's pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms, go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals, reject bad or useless animals. Don't skip any. Oh god, it's like a papers please style animal inspection. We take this job very seriously. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Please make sure to comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasoning. Oh jeez, it's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know, that's it, I guess. Okay, cool. Oh, oh god. I don't like feeding the chat box. Okay. That's it? Isn't there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if you've screwed up. Oh! But try not to. Screw up. Okay, you'll each find a stack of forms on your desk. I'm starting you all off easy, but please be thorough. Well, I don't know! He seems nice. You think so too, right? No. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, it seems that our day is about to begin. It is time to go inspect some animals. Eh. Do try to be a little more enthusiastic, dear. These animals need you, after all. I don't know! Oh, looks like such a good- Oh, he's a goof! Oh, he's such a goof! We all love this fuzzy dog a lot! Oh, adorable doggo. A++, wood doggo again. Checkbox! Boink! Yeah! Did I screw up? This is me next? Okay, let's see. Nature aloof, kills mice. She didn't let me touch her until a few months ago, but now I pet her every day. Alright. Good hunter. Hunter. Catoms. Boink! Yeah! I'm doing great! House cat, timid, reminder of simpler days. He easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is family. Family means Ohana. <laughs> Ohana is fam fam. Boink! Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Yeah! I got a thumbs up! Am I good? All right! Please tell me I'm good. Okay, um... Welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. Some of you, and I won't name any names, but you know who you are, have been a little too liberal with approvals. <laughs> the whole point of this agency is to call the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. 
From now on, I'll need you to reject at least one animal. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Oh, no. Well, um, I didn't really think I needed to explain this, but, well, when you comment on forums, you should, um, you should try to spell things correctly. Ah! I mean, I know mistakes happen, but your job is kind of not to make mistakes. And you made some with that last batch. Maybe you don't think spelling is important, but you're a professional now. So please try to act like it. It's a warning this time. But if this happens again, I'll have to give you a strike. Oh, God damn it! Okay, so this is just a warning, but please clean up your forms a little bit before turning them in. There should be a little feather duster on your desk. Standard issue. So use it maybe. No. Okay, um, seriously? Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no! God! Come on! Hello again. How's your first day? Bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. My day was grand. Such wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course, I approved them all. Though, I guess I cannot do that anymore. Good luck today, dear. Hey, we never really talked earlier. I'm Alan. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like, really just the worst. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Yep, actually I do, Alan. Huh. <laughs> yeah, you get me. Anyways, good to meet you. Bye, Alan! Oh, it's a snake! Oh, this is my snake. It's very neat, but my friends are scared of it, but I'm not. Oh, let me clean it up. Clean it, clean it. Oh, okay, it did it. All right. Let's see. House cat, nervous, shed, civilian appeal, none. Well, that dopey ass cat might be going soon. Ancient hound, resigned, good for petting, Mike's the family dog. He's old, but part of the household. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, someone out there watching is gonna hate me for what I pick! Oh, it's an old doggo! But I can't! It looks just like Lucy! Oh, I can't. Wonderful dog. <laughs> I love you, Lucy! Oh god. <laughs> Oh, it's a quiet snake. Ah, snakes eat mice. No need for elimination. No need for culling. I guess is a good word. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh God, that's all I'm gonna say. Did I do good? Did I do good? Oh, don't give me a strike! Well, uh, it's a new day. So, um, there's a bit of space concern. Basically, what I mean by that is there are some concerns about space. Specifically, the space all these animals are taking up. I guess what I'm trying to say is, please prioritize rejection of larger animals. All things being equal, anyways. Anything close to human-sized. <laughs> That's the size I'm talking about! A lot of people-sized animals. Unbelievable. After all, the whole point of this is to, well, to make space, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's so skippy! <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello, dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. I just do not agree with that. But he does not want to listen to me. He called me. Oh, dear, he said that I'm out of touch. Can you believe that? Y no. No! Thank you, dear. You were so much nicer than Alan. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I rejected an animal. Not a cat, of course. Oof. It was a fish. The natural enemy of cats. Oh, yeah. Okay. But still. It did not feel good. Not at all. Dear, I know we have our instructions, but I do not think you should be rejecting cats. I just do not think it is right. Cats are very intelligent creatures, you know. Oh. In some ways, a cat is smarter than you and me. Okay! I was on your side for a little bit there. You need to back off. With you, it is maybe a lot of ways smarter. Okay! Well then, Martha! Why don't you take your bitchishness and take it and go have fun with your cats that I reject? So, do you understand now? Do you promise to approve the cats? No. Oh, I guess that was a hard promise to make, but I think maybe you could have tried. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Okay, bye. How's it going? I've been getting rid of pretty much all my animals. Seriously, I've got no tolerance for useless things. I may not love this job, but I'm gonna do it well. See you around. All right, fuck you, Alan. Oh, look at him! Oh, look at him! Oh! Oh, ants? 
Oh, we can get rid of ants, but they're tiny. So, oh, jeez. Oh, feisty little pup. Oh, no. Oh, no! The dog's big! Oh, no! Fuck the ants. Get out of here, ants. Ants have no use. Well, they have some use, but I'm just gonna say that. Ooh. Feisty. Feisty dog. Is good dog. Approve! Boink! Let's see. Big because he has lots of love to give. I wish I could misspell! Gosh dang it! Doink, doink, doink! And boink! Okay, so good morning. I just got word from the department head, basically. Well, they think you've all been doing great. Really great. So great, in fact, that they're bumping up the inspection quota. So, uh... Well, now you have five animals each to look through. Also, this means you need to reject two. Oh, because there are more. Oh. oh, by the way, I'm starting to question your judgment. That dog bit an inspection agent. No, we didn't terminate it right there. It was just a formality. I shouldn't have to double check your work. Though, honestly, that's kind of my entire job. I can tell that you're going to be a problem employee. Oh, fuck you, man! I'll strike for you on this, but come on. Work a little smarter. I can't. This job is not what I thought it would be. I'm trying my best to be fair to these animals, but it's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions. Instructions I do not always agree with. Oh, man. This job. I don't want to say this too loudly, but... Well, it's boring, yeah? Real drag. Very repetitive. God, can you imagine doing this for the rest of your life? Because you real appreciation for education. Oh, man, poor Martha. She's basically at the end of her life. Oh, God, she's ancient so old. Like, just look at her. Oh, hi, Martha. I'm looking at you. Okay. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything led to her. Man, you're really happy it's not me. Like I said, I don't think I'll be here long. Oh, sorry. I guess you might be here a while, too. Well, hey, I mean... If this is what makes you happy, then cool. Well, it's not! Oh, look at the kitty! Oh, look at the little squeaky beaky! Oh, that cat is shouting! Let's just give it... Matt, give it the sound of a rooster. Oh, let's give this one the sound of a rooster, too. Pair them up both at the same time. Oh, jeez, I gotta pick between cats? Martha's not gonna like this one. Oh, God. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, no, they're twins. I can't get rid of the twins. I mean, I can't get rid of one twin. I'd have to get rid of both twins. Oh, God. How can I pick? How can I pick? <laughs> oh, God, the twins. I'll let the twins go out together. Oh, God. Twins need to be together. <laughs> in life and in death. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Sage is a good name. Affectionate is good. Oh, boy. Finding stuff is cool. <laughs> I'm emotionally devastated at the moment. Twins need to stick together. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> um. Okay, so, I'm sorry to say it, but old Mindy has come down with the case of the flu. Who? You know, Mindy. Old Mindy. Martha? Everyone knows Mindy. In any case, um, well, someone needs to take her place in the cages. And today that someone is Alan. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary. Exemplary? Ex exemplary. Um, exemplary. There you go. Performance here these past few weeks. Right on. You all have been doing well, so no need to worry about increased quotas. Good work out there, everybody. Oh. Oh dear, what do you think about that? Crazy. Well, I'm sure glad that I'm not going. The cages are no place for me, dear. I have heard some bad things about that place. Very scary things. Things are not good at all, dear. By the way, dear, I just wanted to tell you that I understand. I understand that you had to reject those cats. I'm not sure that I would have been able to do the same. And I still do not agree, but I know this job is important to you. And I'm glad that it was not Alan who inspected the cats. 
I just hope that I do not have to make that choice. Oh, oh man, I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but anything's better than doing paperwork all day. Honestly, I'm pumped about it. Very excited. Thrilled. This is the beginning of a good thing for me. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, oh, look at the cat. Oh, it kills birds. It's basically doing my job for us. Dog, useless dog just takes up space. Oh, see. Oh, man, wait a minute. Whoa, hang on a second. Wait, what? Wait, what? Man, arrogant 26. I'm 26? Is this me? Wait, is that Alan? No, that's not Alan. Is that Alan? Is that Alan? Bad face. I don't know. I don't know what that means. 62 years old. Oof. Eh. Alright. Gold. Golden fish is. <laughs> dead in fish is dead fish. Oh, God. Let's see. I appreciate a good squawk. All dogs are useful. Okay, let's see what happens when I reject the person. I, I wonder if this is actually gonna do something for me. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Boink! Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say documentaries are great. Documentaries are important government tools. They show the public that we're just like them. My favorite documentary is, uh, well, I forget the title. But it's about a wolf raised by geese. The wolf grows up and eats the geese. It's a message we all can learn from. In any case, there's a reason I'm bringing this up. Believe it or not, they're making a documentary about this department. So in order to present us all in the best possible light, I'm asking you, well, telling you actually, I'm telling you to approve all your animals today. Understood? No? Okay, well, if you want to get fired that badly, then there's not much I can do to stop you. Um, oh, and an unannounced announcement before you start, it seems that Alan is no longer- Oh! Everything's fine, but- Whoa! Well, there was an issue with the cages. Whoa! Just a slight mix-up. Whoa! It's, uh, it's nothing too much to worry about. Whoa! That was Alan! Oh, I rejected Alan! He was a good employee, a good boy. He'll be missed. Oh, no. Oh, dear. What could have happened to Alan? I did not like him much, but this is very concerning. Here, I told you I had heard bad things about that place. I hope the boss does not ask me to go there. I'm a little worn down, dear. This documentary will be very exciting, though, I think. Ah! It means we do not have to reject any animals. I'll tell you, though, I'm getting a little worried about my cats. They have not come up for inspection yet. I'm very anxious. I just want them to be okay. Oh, oh, look at the doggo! Oh, look at the doggo! Hey, cat, how you doing? Fish, I do not care. Everything here is a feeder. I'll just go ahead and reject the- f Oh, no, I need to approve everything. Oh, okay. Everything- Whoa. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Oh, doggo. Oh, doggos. Oh, adorable doggos. Everything gets loved. Love it. Great bird. <laughs> Let's see. Awesome dog. Swell pup. Good smile. All right. Clean him up. Send him up. Well, D-Day has come and gone. That's Doc Day, by the way. Documentary Day. Because they were filming a documentary. I get it. Yes, I, I get it. I Okay, all right, uh, good news and bad news. The good news is that the filming went well. They got all the shots they needed. They're done with his office. The bad news is that we're now extremely behind on a rejection quota. So, um, I'm gonna need you to all reject everything today. No exceptions. Oh no. I thought things were getting better around here. Yesterday was so nice, but today will be awful. I'm not sure if I can do it. Maybe all of our animals will be bad today. This is possible, right, dear? No. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I know it's gonna happen. Her cats are gonna come up. Oh no. In fights kindness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That cat is my baby. Oh, I just love her so much. Oh god! 
Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! I have to, I have to save it. I have to save it. Oh my god, I'm killing the doggos in favor of... I just can't do it! Oh, I can't do it! Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She barked at a rock! Oh, man. You're lucky. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> No. <laughs> My mother had a saying, hang in there. I don't think she made it up, but she sure said it a lot. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I know things are rough, but remember to hang in there. Uh, that being said, Mindy is sick again. Good old Mindy. She's really been sick a lot recently. Suspicious. Well, I didn't take over last time enough. Well, he's not with us anymore, so it's your turn. You'll take over for Mindy today. Just head down to the cages. I'll follow you down in a bit with instructions. Okay, you. What didn't you understand? It's really so hard to just reject everything. There's nothing to think about. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh no! I'm sorry, let's step back a bit. I guess I do understand. Martha's cat. Well, um, as co-workers, it's good to stick together. I really do have to address this, though. We missed our quota yesterday. The records are clear and someone has to take the fall. I still need to give a strike. This is only for your first strike, so don't worry too much. But if you get three, you're done. Also, hmm. Okay, well, we should talk. I know I never mentioned this before, but, um... Well, you, uh, really need to vary your comments. Like, don't just write the same thing. Oh, come on! Every animal is unique, every creature is special, and they all deserve to die. I get it. I guess. Um, well, anyways. <laughs> I'm just trying to treat each case separately. Oh my goodness, dear. My cat. My lovely kitten, you saved her. Dear, you will never know how much this means to me. You must have gotten a strike for this. I'm so sorry about that. I did not think you liked me. I'm so happy to be wrong. Again, thank you so much. Oh, and please be careful, dear. I still think about what happened to Alan. The boss will not talk about it with me. Something bad is going on. I can feel it. Oh, no. Welcome to the cages. Oh, it looks so much different down here. You're probably wondering where all the actual cages are. Well, rest assured, there are definitely some cages in here. But they're behind a few more doors. You'll see them soon. But first, I'm sure you have a few questions. Maybe that you wanted to ask what this place is. Yeah, let's go with that. I thought so. Well, I'll tell you. You've been part of a little experiment. Well, I guess it's more of a big experiment. But anyways, I have a few questions for you. And then I'll explain everything. Please try to answer as honestly as possible. Wow, what? First question. Have you noticed anything odd during your time here? Yes. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you don't want me to expand on that. Oh, okay. Is the goal of this organization clear for you? No. Okay, let me just mark that down. Third question. Would you describe everyone here as normal? No. Ah. Would you describe Martha as abnormal? No. Huh. What about me? Weird. Rude. Well, fuck you too. All right. I did ask though. Hmm. Well, I think we're just about done here. Thanks very much for your time. So, I guess you noticed there's something funny going on. Well, I'll explain a few things. So first of all, Alan, rest in peace. Alan wasn't a real person. What? What I mean by that is that Alan wasn't always the way he was. The Alan you were interacting with was actually an animal. What? A dog specifically. Neat, right? Yeah, kinda. That's right. Hell yeah, it is. Anyways, look. We've been researching how to train animals to do menial labor, like your job. Stamping forms, we can train animals to do it. Of course, to do that, we have to set them up with nicer brains. And we seed those brains with human memories, so they can actually function. In Alan's case, we gave him Alan's memories. Alan the dog's case. We gave the dog Alan the memories of human Alan. Not that the dog Alan's name was originally Alan too. I mean, that would be weird coincidence. Anyways, when you have someone's memories, you kind of freak out if you don't actually look like them. So then we make that happen. 
Look, I won't get into the, the specifics, but like, technology is pretty advanced these days, so we can basically make an animal pass as human, and we don't have to pay them. So all these pets we've been rejecting, they're an untapped workforce, and we're tapping them. Of course, you did notice that something was off, so we still have some work to do. Human-sized animals they wanted rejected! Oh, but yeah, that makes sense. No. Okay, well, I mean, look, I don't mean to imply this idea is bulletproof, but you have to admit it's pretty solid. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, hold up. What's your problem? Name one issue with this plan, just one. Cost? <laughs> huh. I guess it is a little absurd how much money we've put into this, and we probably won't ever really make it back. But money isn't everything. Some of mankind's greatest achievements were profitable. So if that's all you got to complain about, morals? Well, I guess we were experimenting with people's pets, and we kind of wiped out the wilderness a little. So that's not great. And I mean, if we're giving an animal someone's memories, it's really so different than us at that point. And what would happen if someone met their animal clone? That's kind of spooky, to be honest. But that's a price we pay for progress. The greater good, it'll all be worth it in the end. Really? Of course! I mean, probably. Maybe? Well, I guess there's not any obvious benefit, but we're in too deep at this point. We just gotta keep pushing through. You have to agree with that, right? No, not really! Look, I know there are some issues here. Like, it's kinda weird that we're using animals for this. Robots would probably have been made more sense. Kinda strange use of technology. And I mean, what's the end goal here? Once all the jobs are done by animals, then what? Plus, if the animals think they're human, then... Well, we probably will have to pay them. Okay, so this whole plan is a little weird. Just a tiny bit. But I think we've covered all the flaws at this point. I mean, every plan has its downsides. There aren't any absolutes in this world. This plan may not be perfect, but really, what is? So you see now, right? You're on board with our strategy. No! Listen, I'm getting real sick of your attitude here. I was trying to be nice about this. Tried to answer all your questions, but I can see that you aren't gonna be cooperative. I don't think I can really let you leave at this point. You're a troublemaker. A real piece of work. So, is your home now? But you'll be pleased to know that your replacement will be... Your very own dog! So it's not all bad? Well, anyway... Um... Welcome to the rest of your life. Oh! Oh! Oh god, no! Oh jeez! Wow! What a game! What an adventure! Oh jeez! <laughs> oh, it's all my approvals! It's all my cards. Family means Ohana Ohana is fam fam! Oh, adorable doggo! Good hunter, Cadams! Oh no! <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh jeez! It's all my sins! It's all my sins laid bare! Oh man, that was awesome. That was awesome. I really liked that. I liked that a lot. That was an awesome game. I can't describe it any more than awesome. I'm trying not to use the C word. You know the word I'm talking about. Not that C word, but the other C word. But, you know, this is a great game. I liked it a lot. So, Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you want to play this, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Apparently, there's probably a lot of different ways to go about this game, and maybe a different ending to explore. Maybe multiple different endings, I have no idea. But anyway, you'll find that out for yourself. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. I really want to hear your opinions on it, so thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Get back, back here! Get back here! Stop running! Yeah. <laughs>